Hello, Canute here from Nitro Snowboard's 2022 Nitro Zero Snowboard Binding. The Zero Binding is our freestyle, skatey, feeling, medium, flexing, softer freestyle binding. It's a binding you're going to want if you like to tweak your, tw like tweak your grabs, you like to just hit the rails, and you like a softer binding. Personally, I like this binding a lot for cruising in the park, like mellow style, just pressing and buttering around and just for jibbing around the whole mountain, kind of slow speeds. The Zero has the Stealth Open Air Base Frame, which is this beautiful base frame right here. It's a two-piece base frame. So you have one material here, the whole bottom is one material, and then you have an adjustable aluminum heel cup in the heel here, and that's gonna allow you to move it inwards or outwards to adjust it to the size of your boot. There are three settings, small, medium, large, and you can adjust the heel cup forward and backwards by unscrewing these screws here slightly and moving them forward in and out. That's gonna allow you to adjust your boot size perfectly so you can get that center stance over the binding, which means centered stance over the board. It's also a great piece because it makes the binding more durable. Aluminum hookup can handle impact when you drop it on hard surfaces. The Zero has an ASIM Zero high back. It's this beautiful high back right here with a toolless adjustable forward lean. Pop it up, move it up and down. Whatever forward lean angle you want, you can do it without a tool. It has, uh, as you can see in asymmetrical shape to it, but it's a little flatter opening. It doesn't cup as much, giving you more lateral flex forward and backwards, just making it more forgiving and not as super responsive from the high back down to your board. So you get that skate-like feel. The Zero also has our air dampening, which is this dampening pillow in the heel here. And everyone knows air is amazing because it's the lightest material. It also doesn't change if it gets cold outside. It's going to have the same dampening properties. And this is one of the key points of uh, what makes nitro bindings different than other bindings out there is we put a lot of focus into developing the perfect airbag solution in the heel to give you amazing dampening properties and making it more comfortable for you to snowboard. The Zero also has a three degree canted footbed, which is this beautiful EVA footbed here with a canted airbag as well. And what the canting means or does is normally when you stand on a binding with no canting, it's flat like this and your knees kind of make a weird bend. But with the three degree canting, the outside are raised a little bit, allowing you to stand in a more natural stance. So you can just go snowboard and have more fun, stay out longer. The Zero has our premium comfort ankle strap, which is this slim ankle strap right here. It's slim because then you get more freedom for flexing. It's not as constraining over the ankle. It also has our best convertible toe strap, which is this sick toe strap right here that either goes over the top of the toe or the front, whatever way you want to do it. And both straps have toolless adjustable levers right here so you can easily adjust the length of the strap to fit your brute perfectly without using a tool. The Zero has our cable reinforced toe connector right here, which is this toe connector ladder here that has a stainless steel cable built inside. So it's going to add for added durability and also reduce any kind of stretch to get perfect resp response from your toe strap here. It has our speed wheel buckles, which are these aluminum buckles right here that are going to be very reliable and they're also not going to strip the ladders. You can ratchet down super easy like this and they're not going to strip. You're going to get that hold that you want, the hold you desire and the hold you can trust in both on the ankle strap and the toe strap. The Zero uses our 2x4 mini disc, which is this disc right here. Boom. It's smaller than your standard disc, which means that there is a smaller imprint on the top of your snowboard. So there's a smaller dead space, allowing your board to flex more naturally underneath the binding itself and allowing the board to ride the way it was designed to ride. So you don't get two big dead spaces. You just have two smaller ones to allow the board to have that actual flex that it needs to ride the way it's designed to ride. What's cool about the mini disc is it has our angle lock feature which means when you're putting your angles in, you can decide, oh, I want a plus nine, find the nine, and boom, snaps into place. It's not falling anywhere. You get that perfect stance every single time. The Zero has a lifetime warranty on the base tray here, just like all of our bindings do at Nitro Snowboards, because we stand behind our product and we know it's durable and it's built to last, and you as a consumer deserve a product that's built to last. I'd recommend the Zero for anyone who is looking for a medium flexing skate like freestyle snowboard binding. If you want a freestyle snowboard binding that's built to last, durable, has air dampening in the heel here, super comfortable, and has great 
side to side flex and freedom around the ankle strap, but it's really comfortable, then go to your local snowboard shop, check out the new 2022 Nitro Zero snowboard. And uh, if you're doing more research about bindings, you probably have looked into the Nitro Team binding, which is this binding. It's kind of the, the bigger brother to the Zero. And the main difference between the two is in the base tray here. The Zero has an open heel where the team has it closed. So the team has more support or it's more response from side to side where the zero is a little looser from side to side, giving you more skate-like feel. So if you want more support and response, the team, if you want more of a skate-like feel, the zero is the one for you. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I see you on the park. And if I do, hit me up, follow me on Instagram at Knut underscore Eliason. I'm using this opportunity to gain followers and trying to get to 10K. So if you could help that, hit the link in the bio. Thank you.